everyone, this is Phyllis and welcome back to my channel. This is a requested video from a YouTuber after I shared my five settings of my coffee table Christmas scape and they requested that I show them how I created the Christmas tree, the reindeer and the Christmas wreath. And if you hadn't seen that video, I'll leave a link in the description box below. These are very quick and easy to make. And if you're interested in seeing how I put these three projects together, then just keep watching. Now this is my first tree that I did. I did off camera. And this is microfiber fabric that I already had from a previous DIY project and I took it apart and I kept the microfiber cloth. This microfiber fabric, it is exactly the same microfiber fabric like the cloth that is sold in the Dollar Tree when you go into the auto section and they have them in squares. This is the exact thing. So if you can't find the whole roll in the fabric store, you can buy this out of the Dollar Tree. Now here I'm showing you where I've already put my cones together. Um, and all I used was poster board that I purchased from Michaels and I'll be showing that to you and I used this glue to glue on the microfiber onto the cardboard and then as you see I used blue tape to just tape the cardboard together. Now here I just roll the cardboard into a cone. There is a YouTuber, um, I can't think of her name, but it's Your House A Home. The young lady that has that YouTube channel, she shares how you can make it in the bottom to be nice and flush and straight. Mine's won't, a lot of my trees won't be sitting up straight, but they'll be just good enough because I just did these Christmas trees on the fly basically but I'll leave her channel and that DIY when she created her Christmas trees out of poster board in the description box below now here you see I'm cutting off the excess and trying to cut as straight as possible and to my surprise this one came out straight it stood up straight the other three kind of lame a little but again I didn't do it the way that the young lady of your house a home did it. I just rolled it and cut it because again this is just off the fly I just want to do something quick and simple and at last minute and then I'm just taping up the bottom just to close it and then any other parts of the Christmas tree that's sticking out or the cardboard that's sticking out I'm just taping it you won't see it of course because it's going to be covered in the fabric Now here I've cut out a big triangular piece to cover the whole cardboard and here's where I'm using the Elmer's glue and I like this Elmer's glue because it dries clear. So I'm just putting it on the edge and then I'll put the cardboard on the edge and then just roll it and press it down with my hand and secure it until it sticks and then when I roll it I glue, put glue on the other end of the fabric as well and this what I'm pointing out is just where when I pulled the fabric off of the old DIY project it left holes but you won't see the holes after I cover it with glitter Mod Podge mixture and some pearls and rhinestones that's how I'm going to embellish my tree I'm going to do two trees with just a silver and gold glitter mixture brushed on and then I'm going to glue some flat back pearls and some rhinestones and then two other trees will just have pearls and rhinestones. Thank you. 
I'm cutting off the excess fabric and then I'll turn it up under and glue it. I also cut off the excess fabric at the top of the tree as well. Here I'll be just putting the glue on the inside on the cardboard, not the fabric, but on the cardboard all the way around and then I press it in and secure it. I let this dry for maybe about 15 minutes before I start putting the glitter glue mixture and that's what I'm doing here. Um, this glue, I put a little bit of Elmer's glue, some water which is just so it won't be so thick and I sprinkle the silver and the gold glitter and then I just take a regular paintbrush, a regular paintbrush you get from the Dollar Tree and I just brush on the glue, glitter glue mixture in like a high-low design effect like an eye sip glue flex so I got some areas that are higher and then some areas that are low you can decorate it any way you choose this is just something that just came to my mind and I saw some pictures on Pinterest where it had glitter covering it looked like an icicle, icicle effect that's what I was trying to say so I'm going to do that on the bottom of two of my trees and the top and then the two other trees I won't be covering them with glitter glue mixture Okay, now here I am going on the pearls and the rhinestones. And I got these pearls from Hobby Lobby two years ago as well as the rhinestones. So I've had these for a while and I have been using these pearls and rhinestones throughout just about all of my Christmas projects that I've posted on YouTube. So they have come in handy. Now here is the reindeer. These reindeers come from the Dollar Tree. And I wanted to make a 3D effect. So the tubes are empty tubes that used to have the blue masking tape on them. I put one, as you saw, on where the hind part of the reindeer and the belly part. And then I took one and smashed it for the neck part. And then I used, used this Elmer's glue um, to secure it again here to the hind part of the reindeer. And then the other one to the breast part or lower stomach part. Basically the fuller parts of the reindeer so they won't show. And then again I took this other one and I see what I'm doing flatten it here just so it can fit in the neck part of the reindeer. And when I do that on that side then I put glue on the top of the tubes before I lay the second reindeer on top. And you'll see me do that here in a second. Here I'm putting the glue on top to secure the other reindeer. And then I let that sit for about 15 or 20, no more than 30 minutes. Because what I'm going to need to do is to sit the reindeer up so that I can cut a strip of cardboard, which I will be showing you, a strip of poster board so that I can cover the inside of the reindeer. And here I'm just pressing it on. Like I said, I let this sit for about a good, I would say 20, 30 minutes. It would be dry enough to where I can sit the reindeer up. And this is just my take on a three-dimensional reindeer. I love the reindeers and I've always wanted one, but this is an inexpensive way to get what I want. Now here I'm just measuring the width between the two reindeers, which comes out to be two inches. However, I don't end up cutting two inches. I cut two inches in the beginning, and I'm using this poster board, but I cut it down some so it can fit actually in between instead of me gluing it on the edges because it's harder to get it right on the edge of the two reindeers. So I cut the strip, and you will see in a few minutes where I actually cut it enough to fit right in between both of the reindeer. I end up putting the glue on the tubes, but I'll let you watch as I do this here.
okay here is where I cut it now this is less than two inches this strip is not two inches and again the measurement depends on the height of the tubes or whatever you use if you decide to create this but I cut the strip to where it can fit perfectly in between both of the reindeers and I'm going to use the Elmer's glue to glue it down I'll put the glue onto the tubes I don't worry about covering all the way under the reindeer because you won't see that but here you see I'm putting glue on the tubes and then I press the strip on the reindeer tubes actually on the tubes all the way under and then you will see later where the inside is the same silver glitter as the reindeer I lost that footage but basically all it is is the Elmer's glue or if you use Mod Podge a little bit of water so it won't be so thick I use the mixture of that and the fine glitter that's what's on these reindeers It's the fine silver glitter I did that mixture and I ended up covering the strip after I put it on the reindeer and let it dry I covered the strip with the fine glitter mixture and again I used the Elmer's glue I didn't have Mod Podge but it's all the same consistency um, Mod Podge and Elmer's glue they do the same thing and I used that to cover the strip so it could be the same glitter effect as the reindeer and you'll see the finished product here in a second. Again, I let this dry and it does dry clear again this Elmer's glue is a clear dry process and I let it dry before I put the silver glitter mixture on the strip and here is the finished product now the collar that is some more of the microfiber so I used a piece to make a little collar and I used the bling wrap for the strip and the jewel around or the jewel in the middle on both sides those are old earrings that I had and I embellish the antlers with some pearls. I also put some microfiber around the hoofs. And I like what I created, my own three-dimensional reindeer from Dollar Tree Reindeers. Now for the final DIY, the microfiber Christmas wreath. These mirrors are from the Dollar Tree. The white one is the size that they used to carry and they downsized to the smaller one, the black one as you see. So that's why I was showing the comparison. But I spray painted it white and it was to use for another project but I never used it for that so I used them for this. And this is some extra microfiber fabric that I have left and I'm just cutting a strip not perfect in any way I'm just cutting it because what I end up doing as you see here is just rolling it and then when I roll it what I like about this I didn't have to use any kind of glue because of what it's made out of it stretches and you'll see where I tuck the end under so all I'm doing is just rolling it around the ring and I end up using two strips I didn't measure it I just cut it and here you see me tucking it in and it stays perfectly and here's another strip I rolled I cut and doing the same thing Here's how I'm just finally tucking in the last piece and adjusting it. 
And that light that you see through the plate there is just a candle to kind of illuminate through the wreath. And then I embellish the wreath with some more pearls that I used on my tree and the same pearls that I used on the antlers of the reindeer. And again, just using Elmer's glue. And these are flat back pearls. I did use some regular pearls too, I do have in this bunch, but I use mostly the flat back pearls. And after sticking some pearls on it, you'll see here in a few that I'm going to be using some ivy leaf. This is faux. Ivy's not real. And I just cut a piece off of this bunch that I had, and I just stick it into, or I tuck it in, and then I go back and I use some uh, fix-all glue to just kind of glue on the leaves to stay onto the microfiber fabric. Try saying that three times. <laughs> and then you'll also see after I cut another piece, I'll be using some mini Christmas balls. I purchased a jar full of them about two years ago from Goodwill and I take about three of those I believe yes three of them and I just glue them on to the wreath with the fix-all adhesive also purchased from the Dollar Tree and I just love the way all three of these projects turned out most of all I love that I didn't have to spend any money except for the reindeer. Those are the things that I purchased this year. I believe, yes, I believe that's all I purchased for creating Christmas DIY projects.